Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. Now, we are taking a, another look at the front bearing carrier on our ECX Ruckus two-wheel drive brushless conversion. What we discovered is that when we took off the bearing carrier, um, we were going to try to reuse this with those uh, with the bushings here, the HLNA, the Helion, HLNA 1045 steering shaft bushings that we got from our local hobby shop, uh, basically to take out uh, this, uh, you know, take out the slack here and, and be able to use just a, a standard three millimeter screw instead of the ECX shoulder screws that are prone to falling out. Um, but when we took a look at the actual bearing carrier, the, the, the threads themselves have been stripped out. All right, you can see that. Even if we use, you know, super glue, probably wouldn't hold too well over time. Uh, and we'd lose yet another shoulder screw or a regular screw. And even so, you know, measuring the depth of this, um, it was three millimeters, which is the exact same length of the thread on the shoulder screws. So again, um, not, not a huge amount of engagement there. You could probably drill this a little bit deeper, just looking at the bottom of that, um, the plastic here. But basically, you would end up hitting the bearing. Um, you could, uh, again, go a little bit more, a couple millimeters more for extra engagement. Um, but you would end up hitting that bearing. So we're going to try this out. Um, on this side of the truck, what we're going to do is go with the, the original approach we were thinking and using a 30 millimeter screw here, putting that all the way through. Right, so we've got still some room here to put on a three millimeter nut. And uh, we are going to go ahead and use a rear bearing carrier. And you can use an RPM one or the stock one. We've just got a, a stock one laying around here. So what we're going to do, first we've got some gunk in here that we're going to clean out, but we're going to go ahead and, and grab the bearings and whatnot. Now, um, if you're debating on whether to do this or aluminum uh, bear, uh, bearing carriers, or that's another option we were considering, the hot racing aluminum bearing carriers, but... Um, We've got to order those, and uh, we already have these parts on hand. If you go with a rear bearing carrier, you will need to use a an adjustable um, turnbuckle, right? And 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 so you will need to buy these again. We had one of these on hand from uh, from one of our slashes or stampedes, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. And uh, we know that we're not gonna have a balance setup. We're just gonna leave the other side as is for now, just to get this truck back on the road, back on the track bashing but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in pop in the uh, bearings here standard 5 by 10 bearings if you want to go larger or with larger bearings you could always use the uh, 5 by 11s with the RPM set up there and where is we're gonna just reassemble this put the steering pin or rather uh, the axle whatever you want to call it axle and um, just uh, the pin to hold the hex on. And we've got aluminum hexes, not super necessary on this truck, but we bought this truck off of eBay and it came with them. So looks like that is good. Pretty nice being able to retrofit or reuse these parts for other purposes. So we're going to put the screw through the bottom. And you know, it doesn't it, the threads might catch a little bit, not a huge deal because the screw itself will be turning with um, you know, it'll be riding on these shaft bushings, anyways. So, there we go, and then that's pretty nice and smooth there. And th this will also wear better than those shoulder screws, eh, you know, probably debatable there, but. Um, you know, you could have slop develop over time, uh, actually like we did with these, uh, because um, we tried pushing those same 
bushings that had a four millimeter outside diameter into uh, this carrier, uh, an extra spare that we had actually one of, off of one of our other trucks, and we couldn't get that through. Um, so, uh, whereas the ones on this truck, um, they were able to, um, you know, we were able to get those in there. So, some, uh, you know, some slop, some, some increase of tolerances has, had happened there. We're just going to use a dab of, uh, dab of some thread lock here. Before we put on, and we're, we're using a nylock nut as well, a three millimeter nylock nut, but it never hurts to put a little bit of a thread lock there. And I'm just going to screw this down. And I'm going to loosen this up a little. swing more freely. There we go. All right. Oh, didn't consider this, but um, we might have to do both sides here because that's going to actually change our steering geometry. Uh, just lining up the holes here. It looks like the axle is, is moving back about... Axle is going to be moving back uh, maybe about five millimeters or so. So that will change the steering geometry. We wouldn't want to have a different setup on both sides. Huh. That, um, that leaves us in a bit of a situation here. We might just go with one of these extra um, bearing carriers that we have on hand then. And... Yeah, just in the interest of getting this truck um, back on the track here, since we have extras, we'll probably just go with those. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, that's 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 going to get this uh, truck back on the road here. Um, let's see here. Should we use some super glue on these? We might as well. Um, so thanks again for watching. Uh, this episode's getting a little bit long, but um, yeah, given the change in steering geometry, we're probably going to go back to stock for the time being. And we're going to explore uh, some of these different options here, um, you know, using that rear bearing here. At least you can see how it works here um, with those uh, helion steering bushings and, um, you know, tracks this adjustable link. So we're not going to run with that setup for now, but... Um, Stay tuned, and we will run that on one of our trucks when we have some more time to, uh, to fiddle with this setup. So uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time. Let us know what you guys thought, and uh, thanks again for watching.